morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. We are back. How many years has it been? Man. Since we've done this exact show? Since we've done this show. So, Ooh. I was explaining it the other day. We did me and you. Yep. And me, you, and Stephanie. Yep. Uh, me, you, and Hope. Hope. Well, Hope came in and started filming. Me, you, and Brian. Meredith's been on it. Uh, Flag on the Play Mike's been on Sierra. it. Sierra. Sierra's been on it. We've had a lot of... <clears throat> It's been since we've done this show in the studio when we stopped. I think it was 2013. All right. So, you went to the movie yesterday. I did. And you saw Collateral Beauty. I have been wanting to see Collateral Beauty. With Will Smith. With Will Smith. If you guys haven't seen it, it kind of reminded me of Seven Pounds, kind of when he did that. But you said it was a little different, kind of like uh, My Sister's Keeper. But I'm going to let you kind of give them the rundown on how you left out of the theater. Oh, that's easy, like this. <laughs> God dang. Did you use the emergency exit? No, and I'm gonna tell you why. I made this comment in the movie. If you didn't cry in this movie, you don't have a soul, and you what's wrong with the damn world. That's what I said, quote unquote. All right, we're good with that. We're good with that. It, it was so bad, I even had one, one of these. <laughs> you know, usually it's just kind of yeah. just kind of get it to the side, but I was, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. So it's, a, it's my sister's <laughs> keeper type deal, because I know that was a tearjerker. And uh, after you read, I read all that to Stephanie, she was like, I think I'm just going to wait for it to come here, because I'll be that one that's sobbing in there. Oh, yeah. there ain't no doubt. Oh, hey, I'm good with that. We were talking yesterday, and I always like to divulge our personal business as much as we can. Right. We were talking yesterday, and you are now in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You are now engaged. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. But anyway, no. Uh, and you said, I now feel the happiest. I see, right. I see how I was miserable. And even though you were single, we had the bar, we were doing this, everybody thought you were the life of the party, when you were drunk, of course, uh, blah, blah, blah. But now you say, I feel like, what makes that? What made you feel like, you know what? Because I'm going to say the same thing when I talk about Stephanie. I, I I can't explain it. I mean, because my life went from a reckless hell to a in bed at 930. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, it's unexplainable. It's just... My comment to you was, I didn't realize how unhappy I was until I was happy. Right. I thought I was happy and then, yeah. running the streets. Right. But that was just a way to pass time. There's my deal. When I, me and Stephanie got together, you told me, be sure you mm -hmm. do not screw up her life. Right. And the same thing I had told you. But the relationship made me focus. Staying in Waco, we have in Waco the Fixer Upper. Yep. Chip and Joanna Gaines on HGTV. It is HGTV's number one show. And they are right around the corner from the backyard. We yes. have the backyard. They have the side. We appreciate and, that. Yes, because everybody comes in there and they come over there and eat. Well, you know they got into some... Hot was, water? Uh, controversy <laughs> because where they go to church, their pastor does not believe in... Same-sex marriage, blah, blah, blah. People get mad going, how can they go to church there? Look, I, I, I want to I say this. My dad is a pastor, okay? He is. A Baptist pastor. If you believe in the Bible, if you read the Bible, that's what it says. God does not re recognize that, okay? Recognize. He don't damn you to hell, does he? No, he doesn't. He don't damn you to hell. It just said a man should not, never lay with the, another man. But, does that mean there's so many interpretations yeah. that it gets misconstrued? But the deal is, you can't get mad at somebody for their beliefs. Now, I believe the same thing in the Bible. I was raised by the Bible. That doesn't mean our gay friend that we know forever who is married to another man, we don't, we don't get upset. Not one bit. They're not disliked anymore, but you can't take other people going, well, you go to a church that they don't believe where gays should get married, or 
It, my question <laughs> is, what sin's worse than another? There ain't one. There ain't one. That's all I gotta say. There ain't one. What is your best 2016 moment? Don't give me the last one. Give me before the last one. Give okay. me your, what is your best 2000, what do you think was the best thing that happened in 2016 for you with everything that we do? Not just personal, I, we know Colin, uh, the kids are doing it. I, I got I got two. Okay. Go I on. got two that, <clears throat> let's go. That run concurrent or together or right. side by side, whatever the hell word I'm looking for. The sellouts at Backyard. On the concert. Whiskey Myers, all those yep. guys. Very good. And figuring out Amazon Prime. Oh. Okay, that was mine. That was mine too. <clears throat> I figured it would be, but it's mine too. It, it gives us an outlet to the world and things that they don't see is how well we're doing overseas. Yes. That's that is it's nuts. Y'all better step it up. Yeah, y'all are yeah, it's it's way it's two to one. It's two to one. Yeah. Uh UK over over here. But that's fine. <clears throat> was the Amazon Prime and the backyard getting to where the vision you had. I was just a laborer, so I know what we wanted to see. But seeing that come to the deck, the new deck, the rug, the cover, the everything that everybody wanted, we try to we try to help them. We right. try to make it work. So that that was so great. other than bathrooms coming in the spring, don't look for nothing else. No, nothing else. Stop looking. And hey, do me a favor, please. All you people, quit looking for Russell after dark. He ain't gonna be there. So stop asking. Now, if you're till daylight savings. If dark at 5.30, I'm not going to be there. Right. And if it's dark in the summer, <clears throat> I won't be so there. So yesterday we did our fan duel deal down there, and I saw, he was. Yeah, I know you were stalling to keep me there. I, I, he, oh, ah, it's fixing to be dark. I'm going to be caught. <laughs> I'm going to be caught out in the dark. Oh, I need to go. You were talking about your boobs yesterday. Yep. I already started. And you already started, but there's these things you can buy. Man bra. They're called invisible bra kind of thing you just stick them on and it pushes them up maybe you ought to just get that well i don't want them to be like cleavage i want them to go away because see they they go right here you know what this is and folks if you don't ever stand in the mirror look at yourself and go man you know what that is that's a that's fat that's a burger that's a uh, beer that's <clears throat> i can lift weights but at some point i got to take care of the food that goes into my body you did good this year i'm really proud of you you leaned up, you got back to the weight you wanted, and you did it by just not eating as much. You didn't starve yourself. We have not talked about this. Uh oh. And I am a, and there has been a lot of talk on Facebook, but, and it's about Ronda Rousey. I'm an MMA guy. I love MMA fighting. I'm going to sit over here while you get done. No. Okay. I want, and I told my opinion. I said, she has to leave her camp. She is not a boxer. She does not know how to box. They, they. I showed your weakness. I know your curveball. I know where you're going to throw that curveball, so I'm going to hit that curveball every time. Do, as an MMA just <clears throat> watcher. I have seen the reports online about everybody telling her to leave that trainer right. or whatever because he, was, he didn't know how to teach her to fight this girl. Right. And it was evident <clears throat> that she had no game plan other than I'm gonna try to not get hit and suck and uh, that's that's really all the game plan she had was try to not get hit. Now we got that part. Now I'm gonna go into the loyalty part. Okay. As me and you, me and you, we are loyal to each other, better than our women. We are loyal to each other. You're my trainer. I am your trainer. And you go, dude. Th they go, dude. You're not a you're not a boxing deal. Do you listen to the outside, or am I a good enough friend to go, dude? I can't teach you boxing. You're gonna have to go see Hoke. I would hope you would be the 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 friend to to say that. If not, it puts you in it puts me in a pickle. That's where I think it is. <clears throat> and. 
you know, you go back and that's who she started with. Got that's who she's top. been training with all this time. Got to the it's top hard to go, yeah. man. I, so I get it. I, I do get it. Uh, There's where I blame the trainer. If my job is to make you a champion, then I need to go. I'm not qualified for that part. Let me get somebody that is. Yeah. And I'll still be the the producer. It ain't no difference in you telling me, hey, dude, we're going to film this movie, but we're going to get Craig to direct it because he's a better director than you. I would go, you go absolutely. You, you watch uh, Mayweather, how many times he's bounced from his uncle, oh, yeah. you know, back and forth, depending on who he's fighting and stuff. Uh, <laughs> get the hood up, it's on fire. Russell walks up and goes, hey, man, what's, go what's going on? I say, oh, there's a car on fire. He went, oh, whose is it? I went, mine. And he went, eh, need a ride home? I went, I think I'm going to. <laughs> so he gave me a ride home. Had a little R and B yeah. playing on the radio, Ralph Trez Vant, Peach Pope. Stop. Ah. That's it was our I'm last day. Yeah. I said, You listen to that kind of music? He said, Yeah, he said, It's our last day. So what are you doing tomorrow? I'm gonna come by, pick you up. We'll go find our but my buddy Gerald and we'll hang out, and that's how I became buddies with Gerald. Yeah. And we've been friends ever since. So that is about twenty and four years. Yeah. Actually, maybe a little longer than that. Maybe, maybe 25. That's a long time. That being said, there's no better man to ask to be my best man than my buddy Russell. So would you be my best man? I sure will, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Now, until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out of here.